I'm gonna just quickly go through these 10 recipes. All-purpose cleaner. All right, this one is awesome. You just mix these in a spray bottle with distilled water, about two to three cups of water, spray it on a surface and wipe it with a cloth or a sponge. Pretty easy stuff. Lemon and uh, thieves. You can use one of two things. This here, this recipe says three caps full of the thieves household cleaner, or you can also use vinegar. So all-purpose disinfectant. Here's a couple different options because they're so powerful. Again, you remember some of the properties we talked about with the essential oils and how they're antimicrobial and disinfectant, antiviral, antiseptic, everything. This one over here on the left, option one, was adopted for use in a hospital and it satisfied the hospital's germicide requirements. I mean, that's how strong they are and effective at cleaning and disinfecting. And again, it's water, borax, and lavender, non-harmful ingredients. The one over here on the right, uh, option two, borax, vinegar, hot water, peppermint oil. If you want to add a little bit of consistency or more consistency to it to cut through grease and, and also disinfect, you can add you know some Castile soap or some of the homemade dish soap. You can also substitute in both of these baking soda for the borax. All right, this tool, I'm gonna just show you this real quick. This is um, an Italian cheese shaker. See the little holes here? You just put weird scarab powder in here and you have it available anytime. I have three of these in my house, one in the kitchen, one in each of the bathrooms, and it's so useful for the shower, for the tubs, for the, the sinks. Baking soda, salt, and borax. Even without the borax, you can use these two ingredients and have a great shaker. And this scour powder will just get all grimy surfaces clean. Citrus dish soap. Half a cup of liquid castile soap. Vinegar, water, essential oils. This is pretty easy. Furniture cleaner and polish. Olive oil. I mean, white distilled vinegar. Uh, you want to make sure you're using white again so it doesn't stain. Lemon and orange essential oils. Ten drops each. Anytime you're storing any of the citrus essential oils, you always want to use a glass bottle because they have the ability to degrade plastics and plastics then those harmful chemicals from the plastics will leach into your solution so always make sure that you're using glass for storing any products toilet bowl 18 ounces of water castile soap lavender tea tree purification uh, the scour powder is great at cleaning your toilet but uh, this toilet bowl cleaner also works and it has a disinfectant properties by using the lavender tea tree and purification. You know, if you're using a home steam cleaner, check with product guide or user manual to determine if you need a special shampoo. Most don't. I just add essential oils to my steam cleaner to clean the tile floors. A homemade carpet shampoo, I can't tell you how many times this has saved me. This completely gets rid of the stains by uh, using this homemade carpet shampoo, of vinegar, the laundry soap, and the tea tree oil, and, and then there's no odor. There's also a dry carpet cleaner that you can use, a combination of baking soda and lemon essential oil, and that gets rid of, or even tea tree or lavender, that will get rid of any type of scents. It'll absorb any moisture that's in your carpet. Sometimes I start with the dry before I move into the carpet shampoo. Laundry detergent, we're moving right through your house. You can get everything done in your house with these 10 or 12 recipes. You can do everything. You can solve all of your issues. You know, a laundry helper, add half a teaspoon of tea tree to help your laundry or towels or other fabrics that are prone to getting moldy. If you just have an odor problem with your laundry, and and uh, you want to get rid of that, just add some tea tree oil. Mildew and mold remover, spray on all-purpose cleaner. You can make your own laundry softener with Epsom salt. Just add two cups of Epsom salt and 20 drops of essential oil like lavender tea tree and mix them together and store them in a glass jar. And then you just add one quarter cup per load into your washing machine and that's your laundry softener. No more Windex because this will clean just about everything. It's purified water. We have cornstarch, hydrogen peroxide, again, it's strong disinfectant, white vinegar, strong disinfectant, the lemon essential oil that has awesome constituents to keep things clean. So air freshener is a big thing, you know, from the trash, from pets, or have other odors in your home. You know, you can make some natural air fresheners by simmering water and infusing them with spices, herbs, and fruit. When you add essential oils to your air fresheners, they actually have a stronger effect. They're so much stronger when you add essential oils. You can also 
also make your own air freshener in a spray bottle. I like the stainless steel spray bottles for air fresheners if glass isn't an option. Like in my bathroom, I don't like to have glass containers because of the tile floor. So I use a stainless steel container and that's equally good even if you have the citrus blends. For this air freshener, rosemary, lemon, eucalyptus, lavender. So you just spray it into the air and it, it just smells great. Another way to use air fresheners is by using a home diffuser. And again, the diffuser, it, it creates a, a cute little steam that, that rises up through here. You just put water in here, add your essential oils, and then it steams up and the essential oils disperse into the air and they purify it. When you inhale them, again, they're acting on the brain through the limbic system. They're non-toxic. They're emotionally supportive too. They're fun. I'm so excited for you. So where do you start? It's as hard as going to youngliving.com, clicking on become a member. You'll need a sponsor and enroller number. And if you use mine, I will personally guide you as much or as little as you wish. You'll join our amazing oily family of supportive oilers and have access to our oil chat groups, Facebook groups, events, training, and other resources exclusive to our Drops of Agape.